नमस्कार टुडे वील डिस्कस डिफेक्ट्स इन मेटल फॉर्मिंग इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज डिफेक्ट्स इन शीट मेटल ऑपरेशन्स सो यू नो द मेटल फॉर्मिंग इज क्लासिफाइड एज अ बल्क डिफॉर्मेशन प्रोसेस एंड शीट मेटल वर्किंग देन ऑल्सो इन दिस टॉपिक वील डिस्कस मटेरियल बिहेवियर इन मेटल फॉर्मिंग how it behaves so there are flow stresses and average flow stresses also we'll discuss temperature in metal forming and effect of strain rate and then friction and lubrication so these are some factors uh, related to formation of defects in sheet metal operation in today's session we'll discuss all these points so it is bulk metal forming so rolling operation forging operation extrusion operation and drawing operation these are bulk forming processes in rolling the compression process to reduce the thickness of a slab by pair of rolls we use then in case of forging the compression process performing between a set of opposing dies the metal is compressed or compacted in between two punch and dies in extrusion it is a compression process squeezing metal flow through a die opening and it will get that shape so uh, you studied in pp1 this bulk metal forming processes and drawing is a pulling a wire or bar through a die opening so these are some bulk metal forming processes as you can see rolling operation in between two rows the metal is spread in forging the metal is compressed in between two dies one is called punch and one is called die extrusion you can see the pressure compressed metal through a small opening and this is a drawing wire drawing process already we discussed so this is mass production or you can say bulk metal forming process then second part is sheet metal working in this subject we are going to study this sheet metal working forming on metal sheets strips and coils the process is normally cold working process using a set of punch and die so bending operations drawing operation and shearing operations these are some operations basically classified which is a cutting and non cutting operations so in bending the straining of metal sheet to form an angle bend in case of drawing the forming a sheet into a hollow or concave shape and in case of shearing not a forming process but it is a cutting process Shearing is a cutting process. So V bend, U bend, or wire drawing, and shearing or trimming. So these are some operations you can see in a figure. Means we discussed all these in details. So flow process, the stress graph. Hmm, the stress is increased within elastic limit. the stress is proportional to strain but after y yields okay so the stress increases stress rate increases and true stress also increases so you can see on a screen the formula so flow stress equal to it is a strain coefficient average flow stress strain coefficient into epsilon raised to n so here maximum strain for forming process when it exceeds it get deformed permanently so in metal working so we discuss cold working for sheet metal operation the better accuracy is important okay then better surface finish it gives then strain hardening increases 
increases strength and hardness then grain flow during deformation provides directional properties and no need of heating so these are some advantages and what are these advantages the higher force and power is required the surface should be clean ductility and strain hardening limits the extent of forming so we we know so this is the effect of strain rate so room temperature increases hmm depends upon means as as temperature increases the strain rate increases the strain rate is strongly affected by the temperature strongly affected by the temperature hmm but if temperature is more the rate of strain rate increasing more huh but flow stress for less temperature is more compared to higher temperature hmm but as strain is strain rate increases temperature increases so this graph shows the relationship so as strain rate increases temperature flow stress increases as flow stress increases strain rate increases hmm at for a particular temperature the friction is also undesirable it also tends to uh, it is one of the reason for production of defects so the retard metal flow causing residual stress and increase forces and power and rapid wear of tooling takes place and if tool is not good then definitely it leads to defects so lubrication is used to reduce friction at the workpiece tool interface so in cold working less than 0.3 tm so here strain rate sensitivity it should be greater than 0 and less than 0.05 and coefficient of friction is 1 so the table shows the cold working warm working and hot working conditions if you follow this then the coefficient of friction is high in case of hot working so accordingly you have to select tools so what are some major defects spring back effect in bending after plastic deformation there is an elastic recovery this recovery is called spring back the spring back can be calculated approximately in terms of rd ri and rf ri by rf equal to 4 so here spring back increases r by t ratio and yield stress of material so increase an elastic modulus huh? stress of increases as elastic modulus decreases as elastic modulus decreases spring back increases so here the before spring back and after spring back you can see so r is a bent radius before spring back rf is a spring bend radius after spring back then angle alpha i bending angle before spring back and alpha f bending angle after spring back you can see in the figure so this is before spring back and this is after spring back so over the bending part so bottoming the punch so use for compensation of spring back so this is nothing but defect so to overcome this the bottoming the punch or stretch bending is carried out so coin the bend area by subjecting it to high localized compressive between the technique tips 
of punch and the die surface so this is bottoming of the punch then stretch bending part is subjected to tension while being bent in order to reduce spring back bending may also be carried out to reduce spring back bending may also be carried out at elevated temperature so stretch bending we discussed this in previous lectures compensation of spring back in the spring back cannot be avoided but can be minimized by several methods such as applying tension over bending wall and hot forming then finite element method is widely used in industry to predict the metal flow and spring back so based on spring back prediction obtained from finite element analysis the tool geometries are virtually modified to compensate for the spring back before the tool is manufactured the tool manufacturing time and costs are significantly reduced so this maximum bending force is calculated using this formula so ky lt square by w where k is a constant range from 0.3 wiping die to 0.7 and y is the yield stress l is the length of the bend t is the thickness of the sheet for v die the maximum bending force p is uts lt square by w where uts is the ultimate tensile strength ultimate tensile strength into l is the length of bend and t is the thickness of the sheet and okay now the wrinkles in deep drawing operation sometimes you find wrinkles the wrinkles can be prevented by using a blank holder the function of which is to facilitate controlled material flow into the die radius the main geometric parameters of the die which influence the wrinking are diameter of the punch and punch edge radiuses in the case of friction between the punch and the tool the increase of coefficient of friction determines the wrinking to reduce but high values of the coefficient can cause cracks and material breakage so here are the wrinkles can be prevented by using blank holders the function of which is to facilitate controlled material flow into the die radius now the variables in deep drawing operations so many variables affect the deep drawing process this includes material properties die designs friction conditions drawing ratios punch corner radius punch speed a property chosen vhf can prevent wrinkle so these are some remedies you can take a care for avoiding wrinkle so this figure shows the wrinkle defect this shows the wrinkle defect okay this is about today's uh, this session so we discuss different uh defects in stamping process that is the wrinkles and spring back effect hmm and due to in proper lubrications hmm some effects effect due to cold working we discussed okay this is about today's lecture hmm uh, this session in next session we will discuss about burrs how burrs occurs and other different types of defects okay thank you thank you very much